This is section 9.5. For us, there's only a section 9.5. There's not a section 9.51 and 2. So today's a big day in that we're finally going to be able to find solutions of systems of differential equations. We won't just be given solutions and verify that they're solutions. That being said, this first page is all review. And so I suggest you pause the video, work out this whole first page yourself, and then come back and watch the video. And so I'm going to make one video just for this first page, and then I'll do the rest of the lecture notes in two separate videos. Okay, so write out the, um, write out the equations of the system. I always do this in two parts. First, I write the matrix equation. Big X prime is little x prime, little y prime, and that's equal to A x, which is little x, little y. Then I turn it into a system of equations. Um, remember, to, to find this product, you're going to dot this row with this column. And so our first equation will read x prime equals 1x plus 2y and we don't put the one in front of the x. And then we dot second row with x, y, so our second equation will read y prime is 3x plus 2y. All right. In the second part, I state that x, big x1 and big x2 are solutions of x prime equals ax. We're gonna verify x1 is a solution. Now note that I've written both x1 and x2 in two different forms. One with the e to the 4t distributed and one with it factored out for x1, same thing with x2. When you're gonna actually do things to these vectors, I think the first form is better, so that's what I'm gonna work with. So we have to verify x1 is a solution. This is the part where we have to work with the left-hand side and the right-hand side separately, so we're not assuming what we're trying to show. So the left-hand side is big X one prime, and that's equal to, so looking at X one in this form, I just take the derivative, eight E to the four T, 12 E to the four T. All right, and then the right-hand side is AX, and we're, we're testing X1, so AX1, and A is 1, 2, 3, 2, and X1 is 2E to the 4T, 3E to the 4T. Okay, and that's, um, let's see, that's 2, plus 6 is 8e to the 4t, and then 6 plus 6 is 12e to the 4t. All right, so left-hand side equals right-hand side, so x1 is indeed a solution. x2 is also, but we're not going to show it because it's enough just to show x1 is a solution. I think you get the idea of how to do that. Show the Wronskian is not zero. So remember the Wronskian for um, vectors, the Wronskian is going to be the determinant of x1, x2 put in as vectors. We don't take any derivatives. So I'm going to put x1 in, 2e to the 4t, 3e to the 4t, that's my first column, and then put x2 in as the second column, negative e to the negative t, e to the negative t. All right, take the determinant, that's 2e to the 3t minus negative 3e to the 3t, which is 5e to the 3t, which is never zero. Finally, the general solution of the system is this. 
find a solution to the initial value problem given by big X of 0 is the vector 1, 4. So on this side, for X sub C, meaning just general solution of the um, homogeneous, for, on this side, I'm going to put in X of 0, Y of 0. And then on this side, I'm going to put T equal to 0. And that gives me C1, 2, 3. E to the 0 is 1, so I'm not going to write that down. Plus negative 1, 1, E to the, sorry, plus C2, negative 1, 1. All right, that's a system of two equations and two unknowns. The top equation reads 1 equals 2C1 minus C2. And the bottom equation reads 4 equals 3C1 plus C2. Let's see, add these two equations together, 5 is 5C1, so C1 is 1, and then plug that back into, let's say, the top equation, uh, and we get C2 is 1 also. So our initial value um, solution is big X equal... Just um, set C1 equal to 1 and C2 equal to 1, and we get 2, 3, e to the 4t, plus negative 1, 1, e to the negative t. Now, that's a vector equation, and that's fine, but you can also write that as a system of two equations. Remember that big X is little x, little y, so if you want to write that as a system of two equations, it would be little x is, read across the top, 2e to the 4t um, minus e to the negative t. And then read across the bottom, little y is 3e to the 4t plus e to the negative t. So this is a vector equation, and this is a system of uh, two linear equations. Well, they're not, let's, let's write it, system, just, I'll just write system of equations. They're not linear. Okay, and that'll do it for the review, and in the next video, we're going to actually see how to find this. Like, where, where do we come up with the 2, 3, e to the 4, t? Where do we come up with negative 1, 1, e to the negative t? So we'll see you there.